Hello, this is Jan with Biovet with this 1961 Corvette convertible. It is red with white coats and white top and black interior. I'm going to take you for a walk on the underside of this car, but first we'll have a quick look on the interior. See the seats, the carpets, the door jams, the door moldings, door covers. And as you can see, there is great integrity to the seats of this car. The top is white and is in good condition, and so is the back window. This car aligns rather well for its age. As you can see here, the paint is in good condition on the door jams. The paint looks to have some age to it, but it's very deep and a great shine to it with very few blemishes. Here we are at the right side of the car, looking at the alignment of the molding of the coves and the door jams itself. The bottom of the door lines real well as well as the vertical part of the back side of the door. The minor misalignment of the coves are probably due to the different in the original size door. No obvious misalignment due to any adjustments is, uh, is visible. As you can see here from the top side of the paint and chrome, it's in very, very clean and deep, shiny condition. Glass is clear. Here we are at the front and where there is a minor difference in the gap above the left front of the bumper to the right front of the bumper by the grill. It is adjustable. It has quite a bit of flex movement both up and down on both the left side and right side and can be easily corrected. Here I put the gauge so you can see that the bumper is aligned properly with the leveler. Very much a, just a nice car in the front blemishes to the front paint. The headlights, chrome, bezel, etc. are nice. Here again another look at the top side of the car toward the driver's side. And here again you see the gap on the front of the door and a little bit alignment correction could possibly be done on the molding. Not so sure. Here again a good look of the deep shiny paint, chrome on the door lock and the handle, chrome of the combs are in good shape, and here's a look at the interior which is black from the driver's side, and again leather, door panels, door jams are in very good condition. Slightly older, but not all original, I would guess. Nice and clean entranceway. Here you see the outside of the passenger side again. And overall I would say that it's in excellent condition. Here is the back of the car and if you look closely and you will see my finger pointing at a small crack line along the ridge of the paint above the keyhole. Here again the front of the car. Everything looks nice. Here I have tried to 
put the picture flat on on both sides so you can have a better feel for the look of the car from a distance. Here again the gap that can be easily adjusted. I could easily push the bumper both up and down on both sides. To make a manual adjustment would be rather easy. Here we are underneath where you can see this car has been recently cleaned and coated and all the components from the front to the rear looks in very very nice solid condition. No history or visibility of uh, rust. All rubber and components, steering looks to be in good order. While driving it I did think that it might feel like it was a little bit loose on the front end. But it seems to wear, vary from car to car and a C1 seems to have little bit more play in the front end than most of them. Here we're looking down the bottom of the car. Oil pan, transmission, exhaust, and the integrity of the frame is solid and rust free. Properly coated, proper hoses, connection, hose clamps, etc. I do like what I see here. This is not a body off restore car and looks to have been garage most of its life. You can see clearly here that the frame itself has great integrity. As we move toward the back, again, here again, minor small seepage at the seal between the transmission. Solid, solid frame, solid, solid bottom, exhaust in good condition, all welding points original, exhaust to the rear and rear end, very solid, parking brake is properly attached, exhaust in good order, rear end has one tiny leak at the front end, and I would say very, very much. Shocks appear to be solid. Here we have the spare tire carrier in good order. Looking at the right rear wheel with all the components in proper attached order. This car drives good and is very solid all the way around. It's just now looking for a new home. Let's have a look at the underneath the bonnet or hood in the engine bay and you'll quickly see that this car is nice clean and the bay area itself is very nice shielding filters hoses clamps are all in good order Here we're looking at the compartment where the soft top is stored and of course the soft top is in good shape and the area behind the seats and the top of the seats are also in good condition. The top itself shows folding marks only but it's cold so I didn't want to play with it too much but there are no holes so repairs done and none is necessary. It's a clean top. And here we have the gaps from the left front of the hood to the right front of the hood to the left toward the windshield and to the right side of toward the windshield. And enjoy these pictures and that's about it. And hope you will come and see me at buyvet.net. Thank you.
again, this is Jan at Biovet.net, my number 678-680-8801, and thank you for looking.